this is pretty cool. This is say, uh, this represents like a section of a model kit for the Titanic. Kind of centerpiece here. like a Giants model set Here's the wee harbour And that's the Titanic building in the distance here I believe that building is to scale here the ship's bow, which is pretty cool in itself. Not the best place to walk down with a camera and vlog though, so I'll be leaving that out. It is a good place to visit though, well worth it. Now there is the, the water that the Titanic was first launched into and where I'm standing the now represents the Titanic's poop deck and this railing here would be where the fictional character Rose climbed over the rail and went to jump until she was talked into not doing that by the other character Jack so it's in the shape of the Titanic and it's the exact measurements of the Titanic's poop deck and this here between these posts these large posts you can see this is where the Titanic actually sat on this slipway and she was built here and then she was launched into the water that I just showed you behind me so I won't do the complete walk through here but I will jump to the prominent bits to show you how this is actually a good place to imagine seeing the Titanic without the ship actually being here but firstly I'll show you this this line here represents the hull of the Titanic and you can follow the hull line to the exact measurements and specification to what the Titanic originally was right up until you hit the Titanic Museum there as I say the line goes right round the entire circumference of the original hull and it's to the exact dimensions so I'll show you what else I come across as I walk up this slipway and coincidentally, side by side between those other two sets of posts was where the Olympics sat and the cranes you can see to the left and right there in the far background that's Samson and Goliath, they're the Harland and Wolf cranes the famous ones Well, the sun has just went down behind the hill there, as you can see Up here on this uh, slipway there's these uh, lighter coloured curbstones and they all indicate parts of the ship so if you were to look at the, the decks of the ship, the upper decks you would see which one of these things symbolises I won't go through them all but I will show you the uh, most important ones that I find most important anyway so there's this one up here that I'm just coming to you can actually see the, the wall plan as well for all the different areas on the ship this circular one here though that is the rear mast of the Titanic would have been located there obviously shooting way up and over to the side here you can see where the lifeboats would have once been. I think this is a really good way to demonstrate you know the scale of the ship 
you see here, uh, that's the line for the, the hull. And you've got your four, four lifeboats. And over here is the far aft funnel. So that's one of the four funnels. And on the far left side there you have the other four uh, lifeboat markings. The museums are really, really great place. I was in that the other day there. Well worth coming to Belfast and seeing that. It goes through the evolution of the Belfast dockyard right up until the Titanic was built and, and then what happened after to finding the wreck and exploring the wreck. This is the second funnel here. And of course the further you go up the deck, the closer you get to the Titanic Museum, which itself I believe is to the exact scale of the Titanic's bow. So it might be hard for you to judge on the camera. It's absolutely colossal looking. So it's no wonder the ship was called Titanic. This is the third funnel we're just crossing over now. I just love the way they've done this. So this is just actually a wee short holiday break for me guys. But uh, it's a place I've always wanted to come and see since it was opened. And we're, what we're approaching here is a, a sheet of steel on this wooden plinth and that steel is to the exact dimensions and thickness of the hull of the Titanic and you can see here what it says this plaque was unveiled on the 31st of March 2009 by John M Andrews, great nephew of Thomas Andrews, chief naval ar architect Harland and Wolfe to commemorate the centenary of the keel laying of RMS Titanic built on this slipway between 1909 and 1911 so looking back you've got an idea of the, the length of the ship it was massive and this glass partition that you see here this now represents us standing on the bridge of the Titanic I just totally love the way they've done this. It's such a good way to feel close to a ship that you'll never get next day. And then you'd be looking forward to the bow. So I'll take you down and show you the very tip of the bow of Titanic. There's the ships there, the Titanic and the Olympic. So here we're back at the the hull line, and if we follow that, it will take us right to the tip, the forward most part of the ship. Here it comes. Here it is, right there. That is the bow where Jack and Rose done the famous pose. <laughs> but I'm not be doing that for you. And we'll have another last look back. So there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed your look at a Titanic vlog. And with that being said, this is Pajerico. Signing off.